Hey guys, it's Tara with Sightseeing Family. We are a full-time traveling family since August of 2021 that's been traveling in our fifth wheel across the United States. Uh, we have been both to Disneyland and Disney World in the past year and a half. And with that, we wanted to share a re Disney resort that's not as known about um, that can maybe help with some of the price increases that you're seeing around the rest of the park. And that would be the Fort Wilderness Disney Campground. While it may not be your traditional Disney resort, it does still have that Disney vibe with less cost. And I know, tent and RV camping might not be for everybody, but it does offer you such a unique experience um, at a lower rate. <music> You may have to check a couple different months, but I was able to find tent camping at the resort for as low as $76 a night. Um, and our V rates started in the mid to high hundreds. They also do have a cabin, which I'll show you guys here in just a minute. Um, but of course that's gonna be a little bit more expensive than your tent or RV sites would be. Okay, here's the tour of the cabins at Fort Wilderness. It's a cabin that my sister and mom stayed in. So they stayed in it, so it's not like super duper clean, but that's okay. This pulls out. Oh, you got a card, Jada? Thanks. Full kitchen. Well, there's a stove top and a microwave and a fridge. I guess no oven, but who wants to use an oven when you're at Disney? Bathroom. Oh, well, you guys have two doors. I didn't even realize that. You have a patio door. So there's bed and bunks. I'm not sure if they all have this bed layout. The campground does have quite a few different comfort stations on property that are gonna have your showers, bathrooms, and even laundry. Um, there are also a few pools and playgrounds on property and a couple restaurants as well. Okay, so here they have campfire, sing-alongs, and movie night. Looks like they rent out canoes. Here's a jet You got the keys? Yeah. Okay. That way the kids can't go walking off in the car. Bike barn. Well, they have a wine and wood shop. Rentals. Oh, you can buy worms and night crawlers here. Oh yeah, I forgot to go fishing. Kayak, canoe, bicycle. There's a mining thing. I know I saw people on Segways also, so you can do a Segway tour somewhere. Fishing at the fort. Yeah, that's a fish. Yeah. Then here's where you can go buy a bag of rocks and crystals and then come sift it here. Oh, do they have pool tables over there too? Yeah, they have pool tables. It's a big pool, a kiddie pool, and there is a hot tub over there as well. This park does have a ferry that runs directly to Magic Kingdom, and then there are also shuttle buses that will take you to the other parks, and they run every 15 minutes, so it's not really too big of a deal um, getting to and from the parks, even if you want to take a break in the middle of the day. If you plan on taking any downtime um, during your week to kind of take a break from walking around the parks, there's also something interesting to this park that I have not seen at any other Disney resort that we have stayed at. There is a Facebook page dedicated to this and people do it year round. Um, and that is a scavenger hunt. So my kids love this and we actually took some things to hide as well. Uh, people will just 
take different types of Disney related items, gifts, cups, pens, keychains, and they hide them around the resort and then they'll post a picture or a hint in the Facebook group and it's kind of a first come first serve. So we would go out on the golf cart and try to find these treasures and the kids loved it. It was so much fun and we did find quite a few things and we were able to hide things for other families as well. Sometimes they're really tricky and then other times they're just right there that you'll kind of just see as you're walking around. Um, but I thought that this was super unique and I have never seen this done at any other Disney resort. So that's definitely a plus of staying here. So I just want to recommend that if you do go, just make sure that you're checking the weather beforehand. Uh, the last thing you want to do is be stuck in a tent and not have the proper comfort items that you're going to need um, to match the weather. So just go prepared. We did stay at Fort Wilderness in April um, and we stayed in our RV. Of course we have AC, but it was definitely warm outside. So be prepared either way. And then just let me know if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment box. Let me know. I'm happy to dive deeper on anything to do with Fort Wilderness. There's also a full tour of Fort Wilderness already on my page. So go take a look. Let me know if you have any questions and we will see you guys next time.